Hi y'all. I want to try something different. Hear me out. I want to make pottery while ranting about books. I love to read, but I don't actually write reviews. I don't read a lot of reviews or write reviews on Goodreads. I mainly think this is going to be wild because it's, I don't usually talk while making pottery and um, it's kind of like running, you know, or at least when I'm running, which I don't usually run, but when I'm running, I don't talk while I run. So imagine trying to make ceramics. It's like I'm going to be using both sides of my brain. Maybe I'll have some notes off to the side, but this will be hard, but I think this will be fun. Okay, so first I need to wedge some clay, um, but we can talk about logistics as I do that. Got a tiny piece already ready. Use the rest of this. So I have four books that are printed and three digital books that I listen to that I think I could talk about. So maybe I'm thinking I could do four pieces on the wheel, um, throw four pottery pieces, and then I can do, uh, I can trim and maybe glaze a few pieces, three of those digital audiobooks. Does that make sense? So we're here at the wheel, about to get started. Talk about books, all the fun things. Okay, so I'm gonna do this backwards. We're gonna trim two pieces before it gets messy and throw. So this will be out of order. Look how cute this is. It's gonna be a little jewelry dish. So I figure we're gonna trim this one. Let me get this situated. One of the audiobooks I listen to is called On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. And I thought it was very a very good book. It was beautifully written and narrated. Um, I think I need to come back to that book because I felt like, well, first off, I read it on vacation and I was completely thrown off by how heavy it would be. And I felt like I didn't give it my undivided attention since I was on vacation. But I, I feel like I can't give it a full summary just because I didn't have my full attention on it and I missed a few pieces of the storyline. So that's one of the reasons why I just want to read it again. I think it would also be like better as a fall book, not as a summer vacation book, but still I think it was a very good book to read and I definitely recommend everyone read it. So I changed my idea for one of the pieces. Sorry. Um, I want to make a book end. And so I already trimmed this piece here and it's open on this side, but I need to close it off on that side. And so I figured I can talk about one of the books while I'm closing this off. So the next book I want to talk about is The Arsonist City. And I listened to this also while on vacation. I thought this was a really, really good book. 
and I didn't even know I was prepared for this because they talk about loss and that's usually like a topic I kind of avoid when I look for books like I kind of avoid family loss but I really liked this book and I thought that the author did a really good job of bringing in a whole bunch of different storylines all together. I did think it was a little bit long as an audiobook, but I still very much enjoyed it and to the point where I'm now reading one of the author's other books, The Salt Houses, and I think that's really good too. So, so it's a family story. It's about a Lebanese family that that is scattered all around the world and they come back together at one of the ancestral homes in Beirut. So it's about like reuniting as a family together. And while they're there, they kind of learn more about each other. You could see like drama unfold. I mean, there's sibling jealousy, there's gender secrets, there's... And they even just learn about like the history of where they used to live or where parts of the family used to live. And they learn about the his historical political conflict there. And you can also just see how like that it's like a messy kind of dysfunctional family and it just feels very much relatable because I feel like every family is is this and and we think we're perfect but like we all kind of have our secrets we have our issues and we need to like somehow come together and and figure out ways to communicate and, and learn about each other overall i just felt like it was a really really good book i love the way it was written and i love the author to the point where i'm reading her other books one of the main reasons why they're there is just thinking about like the things that tie us to who we are and like for me i think about like heirlooms like i have certain pieces that remind me of lost family members and without those pieces it would make me really sad because i feel like i would be out of a lost like it, it, it just it's like you kind of lose those memories and so those objects and those pieces are what kind of holds you to what you have left of that person. So some of those things bring us back positive memories. Some of those objects and nostalgic things that we hold on to, like even the last book, The Island of Missing Trees, it's this tree that kind of held this story and these memories together. Um, like I even think it back at home, we used to have this weeping willow tree and it was so special to me. Um, even though it was barely there in my life, it's just like I have this one picture of of looking back at it. And it, and it reminds me of home. So I'm trimming a tumbler and I want to talk about the audiobook called The Island of Missing Trees. As a visual designer, I really appreciate beautiful covers. So I thought this was a very vibrant, beautifully, beautifully designed book that I appreciate. Now, I also just like love this book because it had a lot of things that I appreciate romance, historical fiction. They were talking about immigration, ethnic, ethnic diversity. Um, oh yes, in nature, botany. I love books that just talk about like nature that don't even have plots. 
Although this one had a plot, I just like love nature books. One of the main characters was a fig tree, which was very unique, but I felt like it kind of humanized the fig tree. Like, let me back up. So the fig tree narrated um, parts of the book. You see this? It's uncentered. This is, this is hard while <laughs> trimming or while talking. I can't actually focus on getting the things perfect, but let me try that again. Okay, we're back. It's centered now, at least I think. But, so I love a book that is able to share about different historical facts and a beautiful storyline. And this one gave a beautiful depiction of the community conflicts of the Greeks and the Turkish um, individuals living in Cyprus in the 1970s, as well as another storyline of the younger generation in 2010s. But overall, I just thought this was a really good book, a great audio book to listen to in the summer. And um, I just loved how it was written, the storyline, and I just thought it was like, uh, the author did a very great job of, of telling us about history, providing an ever so slight romance novel within like historical facts and, and even just bringing in botany and learning about nature within that context.